Why are you so sad, Mr. Arvind Kidrawal? The government of India is not agreeing to include higher judiciary under the anti-corruption body, namely Lokpal. Won't including higher judiciary under Lokpal affect the independence of judiciary? How will it affect the independence of judiciary? We have greatest respect for our judiciary and we strongly stand for its independence. Most of the judges in higher judiciary are honest. However, a few of them bring bad name to the whole judiciary due to their wrongdoings. They ought to be identified and acted against. A system which effectively does that would strengthen the independence of judiciary and increase its credibility in the eyes of the public. Present system tends to protect the corrupt and encourages corruption. Therefore, the present system tends to lower the prestige and credibility of judiciary in the minds of the people and compromises its independence. General Local Bill seeks to create a system, which is independent of judiciary, to grant permission to register a first information report and initiate investigations against a judge. But, won't this tremendously increase the workload of Lokpal? There are less than 1,000 Supreme Court and High Court judges in our country. Just as Bharaja had once commented that less than 20% of higher judiciary is corrupt. Obviously, complaints will not come against all of them at the same time. But even if all complaints came together, there will be less than 200 complaints. That is a very small number and would not increase the workload of Lokpal in any manner. But I think judicial matters are very technical. Therefore, only people from judiciary should deal with complaints against judges. Jan Lokpal Bill does not empower Lokpal to go into or question the judicial procedures or decisions of judiciary. It does not empower Lokpal to interfere with the professional conduct of judges. It only empowers them to grant permission to register a first information report against a judge against whom there are allegations of bribery. Giving and accepting bribe is a criminal offense. There is no technicality involved in that. If that logic were accepted, then the income tax people would also say that income tax is a very complex subject and only people with income tax backgrounds should deal with allegations of corruption against income tax officers. There would be similar demands from politicians, customs officers and other sections of bureaucracy. But what will happen to the Judicial Accountability Bill presented by the Government of India? Judicial Accountability Bill does not talk of bribery by the judges. It only talks of professional misconduct. Jan Lokpal talks of criminal misconduct. Therefore, the two bills complement each other. The National Judicial Commission sought to be created through a Judicial Accountability Bill will not have the police and investigative powers and machinery to deal with criminal complaints of bribery. It can be done only by Lokpal. But complaints against Lokpal members will go to Supreme Court and those against Supreme Court judges will go to Lokpal. Would that not create some kind of circularity? Such circularity is a part of internal checks and balances at top levels in any democracy. For instance, Supreme Court keeps a check on legislature and executive and the legislature has powers to legislate on judicial matters. If there is a complaint against a Supreme Court judge and a local member at the same time, then obviously, the accused judge or the accused member will recuse himself from the benches. If ever such an eventuality happens, the transparency of proceedings in the two institutions will keep a check on the possibility of any misuse. The hearings at the two places will be open for the public and media. Won't we need to amend the Constitution to allow a seven-member bench of Lokpal to give permission rather than the Chief Justice of India as under the existing system? No, we won't need any amendment. There is no provision either in the Constitution or in any law which empowers the Chief Justice of India to give permission before registration of an first information report against any judge. Such a system was created by the Supreme Court through an order in Vieraswamy case, in which the Supreme Court made it mandatory that permission would need to be sought before registration of an first information report against any judge. Interestingly, no frivolous first information report had ever been filed against any judge before that judgment and such a judgment was completely uncalled for. I agree. Higher Judiciary and the Prime Minister should come under local. 
I would protest on streets if the government of India continues trying to bring a weak local and protecting the corrupt. Thanks. I also urge my fellow countrymen to demand from the government of India that both higher judiciary and prime minister should come under Lokpalan to protest on streets if the government of India continues trying to protect the corrupt. <laughs>